Hello, uh, this is session one. In session one, we're going to see about the introduction of research and we will cover about the definition of research and we'll see the two major types of research. So uh, research is simply defined as a systematic collection, analysis and interpretation of data to answer a certain question or solve a problem. So in other words, research has the following flow. So it basically starts from uh, a question or a problem that you observe uh, or identified and to answer that problem we normally develop or design a way we call that a proposal so after developing the proposal uh, we need data to implement the proposal so data has to be collected systematically uh, following all the proper methods and protocols after that after the data is collected we have to properly manage it this is a step that's usually taken for granted but it really determines the quality of your research output. So managing your data uh, properly is a very important step that should not be uh, skipped in any research. So after that, uh, the managed data will be analyzed and based on the analysis results, uh, we interpret uh, the results based on the context of the study population and the local and national policies related to the subject matter. So when we do that, when we present our result, we call it a thesis report if it is for a program fulfillment research. But if it is a research that we are planning on submitting for a, a peer reviewed journal and publishing it, we call it a manuscript. Uh, we usually stop our research here, but research is not conducted so that we can uh, acquire some uh, master's degree or PhD or so that we can get it published and improve or advance in our career. Rather, it's conducted mainly with the aim of solving a problem. So research doesn't stop there. The ultimate goal of conducting a research is observing a problem so that we can provide solution. That means we have to be able to apply the results to the studied population so that we it can guide practice or even change our protocol. So make sure to always disseminate your research results so that they can be used as an input to guide decision uh, for the clinical practice or for the public health uh, practice. So there are two major types of research and the first one is quantitative and the other is qualitative research. So these two research questions uh, are different based on uh, the type of research question that we have at hand. So if our research question is a quantitative question, uh, which is interested in quantifying a problem or assessing the relationship of a problem with other factors, then this is a quantitative question and it can only be answered by collecting quantitative data. That means uh, a data that can be uh, counted or measured and that can be given a numerical value and to analyze that we need a statistical analysis method statistical tools so in order to quantify the problem in order to assess relationships we need statistical analysis methods so uh, this is uh, a research that most of us are familiar with especially in the healthcare system because most of the time we are interested in quantifying a problem and assessing its degree or magnitude of relationship with other factors for example if we're interested in studying how many healthcare professionals are providing compassionate and respectful care uh, in the Ethiopian healthcare setup then we're interested in counting their numbers or we can simply report it as a number or as a percent or as a rate and this uh, is a quantitative question because it can only be answered by collecting quantitative data so this is this has to be addressed by a quantitative research method uh, a quantitative research approach on the other hand, a qualitative research is a research which is based on a qualitative question. A qualitative question is not interested in quantifying or assessing magnitude of relationship. Rather, it's interested in understanding a problem uh, for which um, there is no prior adequate information. So in order to understand the problem, uh, we dig deep and try to explore, analyze, understand about the problem. So it's all about understanding the problem. So in this case, what we need is a qualitative data, which is uh, descriptive in nature. It's not something that you can measure or count. So it's something that you just express in words rather than numerical values. So it's about people's perspective, experience, their attitude, their feeling. It's not something that you measure, rather it's something that they describe and later that you can analyze with uh, some qualitative research analysis method. So in, in qualitative research, 
there is no role of statistical methods for analysis. Rather, there are qualitative research uh, analysis approaches that you should use. For example, if someone is interested in asking what is it like to provide compassionate and respectful care in an overburdened healthcare facility among healthcare professionals in Ethiopia, then it's all about their we're interested in understanding their perspective, their feeling about the system. So you can't answer this type of questions with numbers. Rather, it's a question that can only be answered with uh, quantitative data by gathering their perspective of the problem and analyzing it and using the proper method. So uh, this is the major difference between quantitative and qualitative research. So to further uh, see other differences uh, in qualitative research, our main interest is in understanding how a given problem occurs or why it happens. So, well, the main interest is in understanding or in digging about the depth of a problem. But in quantitative research, what uh, the main questions are uh, is do we want to quantify the problem, identify the problem, quantify it, and we want to know how frequently it happens and why. Why in this case is not just uh, describing the relationship, rather it's about uh, measuring the degree of relationship and presenting it using numerical values like odds ratio, relative risk, hazard ratio, and other uh, regression coefficient um, values. So here what we're interested in is understanding or assessing the level or the width of a problem, not the depth of a problem. So uh, that means uh, qualitative research is normally applied when we have very limited knowledge of a problem so that we can understand better about it so that after we gain some perspective about the problem we can conduct quantitative research so that we can understand better about the problem, about its words of the width of the problem. So quantitative research is conducted after we gain a certain level of knowledge about the problem. Due to this nature, qualitative research follows an inductive approach, which is an approach that starts from the bottom and goes up to answer the problem. So we start with a simple observation, an observation that can be just a single observation or very few observations. And, the, and then by making, by designing a way to uh, observe similar phenomena, we try to build a theory. For example, at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, since we do not have any idea about the nature of the disease, its pattern, uh, someone might observe that an adult infected with COVID-19 tends to develop severe disease as compared to children. So um, this could be a very few observation. So to build a theory, we have to make uh, similar other observations. And after that, we can develop a theory by saying that being an adult is associated with developing more severe COVID-19. So we start from an observation and then we build a theory. So uh, this uh, theory cannot be accepted as a fact, rather it has to be tested and it has to be either proved or disproved. So to do that, we have to conduct quantitative research, which follows a deductive approach. That means it starts from a theory and tries to prove or disprove that theory. So by using this theory that we have developed from the qualitative, the qualitative research, uh, we can collect data on adequate number of participants, adequate representative number of participants, and then we try to either prove or disprove the theory. So qualitative research uh, follows inductive approach and quantitative research follows deductive approach. Uh, because of uh, the differences that we have discussed so far, the focus of a qualitative research is mainly describing the problem, the individual experience and relationships. But in quantitative research, the description mainly focuses on the larger studied population, not just individuals. It's rather based on population, representative group of population. And we want to quantify the problem than just describing it. And we want to predict relationships using measurable uh, values like odds ratio, uh, relative risk, and other measures of association. Well, uh, about the nature of the study, uh, some aspects of the study in qualitative research are flexible, but this doesn't mean that it's entirely subjective. It's, it doesn't mean it's subjective. Rather, to achieve its goal, qualitative research might follow uh, some, uh, might adopt some flexible or um, some new uh, methodologies after the study uh, has got an ethical clearance and the data collection is begun, uh, we can consider changing 
uh, the number of participants or changing the data collection method so that we can get better understanding of the problem. But uh, it doesn't mean that it's subjective to be interpreted or to be conducted based on people's perspective. Rather, to achieve the objective in a reasonable way, we can um, uh, manipulate some of the methodologies so that we can achieve the main objective of the study, which is understanding the problem. But in quantitative research, since we conduct the research after having a certain level of knowledge, we should be prepared by every aspect of the methodology and we shouldn't consider changing it after its calculations is approved and after we start conducting the study. So, um, uh, so that means it's a very stable type of study design, unlike the qualitative research. Uh, because of the above differences, since qualitative research focuses on understanding the problem and the research is conducted in ver on very few number of participants, uh, the result can be somehow transferable to the population from which the study participants are recruited. But it cannot be generalized because it, there is a sample size uh, calculation and the sample method are not randomized, rather they are purposive. Uh, purposive enough so that they can meet the goal of uh, achieving the objective, which is understanding the problem. But in quantitative research, uh, adequate sample size is calculated and a representative sample is selected using purposive or, or randomized sampling method. So the result can be generalized to the larger source population or target population from which we have recruited our study participants. So these are the few major differences between qualitative and quantitative research. Let's see uh, one more example. So if um, a researcher is interested in answering the question, does prophylactic heparin administration following intracerebral hemorrhage in adults reduce the incidence of DVT during the first year of follow-up compared to no prophylaxis? So here, uh, what we're interested in is among adults with ICH, what's their risk of developing DVT during the first year of follow-up? So this is something that needs numbers to be answered. Uh, uh, we have to measure the degree of relationship using numerical values. So this is clearly a quantitative research question and has to be addressed using a quantitative research type. Uh, the other is if for a similar patient, if we are interested in asking how do patients with ICH feel about taking prophylactic heparin to reduce their risk of developing DVT? Well, this is about feeling. It's about their perspective of the uh, management approach. So it's from their individual experience that we're interested in uh, understanding the problem. So this is clearly a qualitative research question. It's not something that we measure, rather it's something that they can express using words. And due to that, this is has to be addressed using a qualitative research. So uh, for the rest of the course, uh, what we're going to cover is only quantitative research uh, type. So uh, understanding the difference is important. So to know your progress, please attempt the quiz on types of research. Uh, this is all about session one. Uh, thank you for watching the video.